Ohio, you'd be kind of near Toledo. Any plans for me to go up and see Zaya Cook Street? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, hopefully Zaya will be coming to see us. Um, but it's cool. I think a lot of our uh, players have been um, honored with streets, and it's kind of a cool thing since it all happened um, you know, while they're playing in South Carolina. So we got streets all over the country. Now, will you be saying to Bree Hall then? It's like about time you know you come up here and we'll get one named after you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the rate that she's playing, uh, she's well on her way to, to doing that. Uh, um, real proud of her and her effort, and I'm glad her people will get a chance to not have to take take such a, a long trip to come here to to see her. Uh, we're bringing her back home, so to speak, and and Sakim because yeah. Sakim is from Ohio as well. Don, uh, how did this game come together, <laughs> and is it going to be nice to see Fred? Yes, yeah, so, I mean this game came together out of need. Yeah. Like we needed one more game, yeah. and uh, I think Fred was done, but I think he moved some things around for us. Um, and that's always a great thing when you got coaches out there, like you got a coaching tree and you need a game, they more than likely will come through. Um, and we wanted to go see him, yeah. you know, being in, being in a place in which I, I know he'll, you know, he'll get the program to, you know, continued success because that, that was a successful program prior to him even getting the job. So they couldn't pick the more seasoned guy to take their team to higher heights. Just confirm this is a home and home, right? They're coming it back is. here. They next are year. coming back. Yep, they are coming back. I think, you know, stranger things have happened <laughs> in the schedule. But yeah, he, he's gonna come back. We, we we'll give him his ring as well. Like he, he didn't get his uh, uh, did he? His final four ring from last final, year. Final yeah, final four ring from last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't look at the team's defense overall. How have you? I mean, it's only been ten games, but how do you like it? What do you not like about mm -hmm. it? You know, things are going. Um, I mean, what I like about it is progressing. Like, we're, we're pretty good, but we're progressing. We're able to – we're actually able to scheme because we're able to scramble. Um, but we're also able to just, you know, detail little things that, that our players are able to pick up, even, even the youngsters. And then although it takes a little bit of time for them to kind of get some reps at it, once they get it, it's one more thing that we can add to what we already do well on that side of the basketball. Is there one base that you would prefer them to have as in man, zone, two, three, what have you? Oh, man, I'm a man. Sure. I'm man. When we got to play zone, it's always like, ugh, like what, <laughs> what, what? And I, I, I do think we do have a zone in. Um, I think we played a little bit of it um, the last game. And we'll, we'll continue to try to, you know, ramp that up to see if we can give somebody something a little bit different. Uh, when you look at Bowling Green, do you see similarities between their team and maybe some of the stuff you guys did? Is anything Fred doing there that kind of sticks out? Um, I mean, a, a little, a little bit, a little bit. I think when you, when you, when you're around some people for as long as we've been around, some stuff looks similar. He probably has taken maybe a thing or two and added his spin to it. Um, uh, but I mean, I mean, he inherited a team. I, I do think he'll get on the recruiting trail as he always already already has, um, and it'll look more. More so, like he wants it. I think he's instilled the discipline because they're real calculating. They're real good at what they do, and they stay within what they do, and that's a mark of a, a really good coach team. Don, there's probably no other coach in America who could break you down and what you guys do mm -hmm. more than Fred. I mean, do you have right. any wrinkles? Do uh, you have any wrinkles up there for him? Um, I mean, no. I mean, when you when you start having a just game plan according to um, them being in our program a long time. Then he gets the advantage. Um, I think we're going to be who we are. I mean, we're 10 games in. I don't think you can scheme enough. We're going to be who we are. They, however, had probably eight to 10 game, 10 days off. So they'll probably put in something new. So we're, we're anticipating that. You know, but at the end of the day, you're going to be who your habits have been. And, and although we're the third way through the season, that's, that's who you're going to be. You can start creating some more you know, for the second third of the season or the end of the season. But for now, uh, we're going both, – both teams are going to be who we are. What would you like to – what do you still want to see out of, the, out of your team as, you know, we get through the final two games and then head into conference play? What still needs to? I, I think I want us to be a little more comfortable offensively. Um, just, you know, our, our bigs taking shots and not um, second-guessing themselves when, they, when, when they're the reversal. I want to see our, our bigs score when they're single covered, like really be aggressive and score. Like it should be, should be easy. Like, you know, being doubled and triple teams is a hard thing. 
when you're single covered after having endured that as Camilla endured last year, it kind of takes you a while to, to make the adjustment and it's taken a while. So I want all of them to be able to just, we put the ball in their hands and they can score on the block, they can score in the high post and just make quicker decisions when it comes to that. Yeah, one last thing about Fred. I mean, what did he mean to this program? That, I mean, Fred's been like, he's more than he's more than a coach, he's a friend. Um, he's someone that, yeah, that actually gave me an opportunity just, you know, if I needed to sit down during practice, I know it was in good hands. If I had to, you know, go on the road and recruit, he's a great teacher. He was a, he's a great, great teacher, loves the game. Um, he's probably the, the only one that, not even the only one, he's here first. He was here first, always, like he would, I mean, it, I think it was predicated on him dropping his kids off but, <laughs> <laughs> to school. But he, he could go anywhere else. He could have went to Waffle House. He liked the Waffle House. He could have gone anywhere, but he's in here and he's working. And there's nothing more comforting to know that when, if you, if you needed to take a, you know, a, a mental break off, that you got people like Fred that's, that's working when you're not working. Tom, we all be there tonight. Time for you to catch the game. Oh, oh, we out of here. We out of here early. <laughs> we we got time to get lost. We got time to get paid. We're gonna get there on time. <laughs> y'all stay in Toledo, right? Not actually Bowling Green. I don't, I don't know where we're staying. I don't even know where we. I really don't know where we're staying. I just we fly out at two thirty. I, I got to be on the plane by two thirty. That's all I need to know. Heck, it might be a longer trip to get to East Carolina. And come right, to right. Bye, bye. Anything else for coach? Uh, I have one more. Just going back to what you said about with the bigs. Do you think is that that comfortability is something that will come with more experience, or is that like a different kind of messaging? I guess that you have to deliver to them that you really want them to expand that part of their game. Um, a little bit of both. Uh, I think we have to be more intentional. We have been intentional and in letting them know that they're single covered and the things that they need to do when they're single covered. And then as far as on the high and the high post, you know, I don't want them to second guess themselves. If they got to drive, drive. If they got a shot, you know, take it fluidly. Like don't, you know, second guess whether you should make the high low pass or reverse the ball or it, it, it should be a lot smoother, the decision making. I know they're trying to please us. They're trying to make the right decision, and in doing so, they, they're they losing the best option on the floor at times. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.